Today's Orange the World Day, and for those of you who don't know, it's a day that the United Nations created in order to address gender-based violence. It also marks the beginning of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence campaign. We're living in a time where the people we have as leaders and celebrities can get away with murder. Okay, not murder, maybe just rape. Horrid stories of sexual abuse are circulating the news every day. But you know what? We've desensitized to it. It's just one more horrible thing in the collection of horrible things that we have going around in the world. And there's only so many horrible things that we can digest at once, and compassion fatigue is definitely a real thing. But you know what? We're starting to see a change in the times. Women have fought their way for rights quite literally throughout history. But now we're more connected than ever before, and these voices and these protests can literally travel the world with a click of our fingers. And that's why I decided to create the Spiral of Containment Rapes Aftermath, which is an art installation that conveys the impact of rape through 25 survivor stories. The support that we've received has been absolutely mind-blowing. The project's been written about in media outlets around the world, and we've received support from donors for the Kickstarter from literally every continent. We've even had an Italian rugby team decide to sell t-shirts today uh, to raise funds for the project. You guys have helped spread the word about it and I never would have been able to get this far without you, so thank you so much. I also want to thank Alice Pascoletti so much for coming on board for this project as a producer and believing in it. Her help has been absolutely indispensable to make this all come to life. Go for your landers. So Sarah, siamo con voi. My goal with this project is not just to help survivors tell a story, but it's also to raise awareness about an issue in a different way that actually makes us look at images rather than want to desensitize from them. These images are meant to be beautiful so that you'll turn to them and so that we'll want to share them. But the reality is that each one of them carries a pretty dark story beneath it. I really believe that this strategy will work. It seems to have spread heck of a lot already um, and I just want to keep it going so if you like the images and you like the stories and you think that it's a positive thing then I ask you that if you're gonna go out for a pint this Friday maybe you donate the money for one of them to this project and help me get a little bit closer to the goal and uh, hope you have an amazing orange day take care Io donato. Tu hai donato. Je te jette un don. Et toi? I donated. Did you? Yo, ya doné. ¿Y tú? I've donated. Have you? Yo di. ¿Y tú? Yo donato. ¿Y tú?